Hello there. Hope all of you are doing well. In this video, I'll be talking about Mire Asset NYC Fang Plus ETF and Mire Asset NYC Fang Plus ETF Fund of Fund. The intent of these products is to track or replicate the performance of NYC Fang Plus index. The ETF invests in the underlying stocks forming part of the index and it can be bought or sold on stock exchange or in the multiples of lot size from the asset management company directly. The fund of fund on the other hand invests in the ETF itself and investor can subscribe or redeem like normal mutual fund in lump sum or in staggered manner. Now coming to the product construct, the aim of the index and hence the ETF is to track the performance of 10 highly traded growth stocks of technology and tech enabled companies from the technology, media and communications and consumer discretionary sectors. As the name suggests, along with Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix and Google, which are collectively known as FANG, four other tech companies are selected based on combination of market cap, trading volume, price to sales ratio and one year net sales growth. The weight of each company in the portfolio is reset to 10% each on a quarterly basis along with stock changes if any. To be eligible for index selection, a company should fulfill criteria like having United States as its country of incorporation or risk, the minimum full market cap of at least $5 billion and being part of an eligible sector. Unlike NASDAQ 100, the NYC FANG Plus Index is a concentrated and equal weighted approach towards taking exposure in large and highly traded growth oriented tech enabled companies. Additionally, the portfolio of FANG Plus Index will be skewed towards such segments and it will not have sector agnostic exposure like that of S&P 500 top 50. Due to the concentrated nature, the portfolio is expected to be more volatile than sector agnostic portfolio, but with a potential for higher returns in the long term. Now in US market, you can take exposure in two ways predominantly. One, through tech or sector centric products, which may give you higher return, but comes with potentially higher risk. And another through sector agnostic product, which comes with lower risk on a comparable basis, but may still have reasonable return potential. Now, if somebody is new to global investing or has lower risk profile, they can start participating in sector agnostic product like S&P 500 top 50, and then move to niche or thematic offerings like this. If investor already has such broad exposure, then he or she can add this product to their portfolio as a satellite allocation from a tactical point of view based on market or valuation opportunity or invest from a long term point of view. In recent times, we have seen the divergence between our domestic market and international markets. While global allocation will provide access to companies and industries not present in domestic market and will help in risk diversification, the investor should realize that global investments are exposed to several additional risk factors like risk pertaining to economy, currency, politics and regulatory factors of the concerned country. An informed investor who has high risk appetite can add this fund to their portfolio in order to take benefit of the potential of FANG and other tech enabled companies at a low cost and in a rule based transparent portfolio. Thank you for watching this video. In case of any further queries, please contact us through your relationship manager or through our social media channels. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.